it is often assumed the most appropriate punishment for a white collar offender is a financial fine or sanction because most white collar offenders engage in economic crimes and so you fight fire with fire by making the, the punishment proportional to the gain from that crime. Unfortunately, in many cases when white collar offenders are prosecuted, the fine is not proportional to the gain that they achieve from, uh, from these economic violations. In the case of the Exxon Valdez oil spill, for example, Exxon was fined millions of dollars for polluting the environment in Alaska. Yet, during that same time period, Exxon was reporting record profits from selling gasoline at this time period. So the solution to many of the problems of white-collar crime and the possible deterrent effect of criminal punishments on white-collar crime is to make sure that the criminal punishments are in fact proportional to the gain that people get from engaging in these illegal activities. And if the punishment is a financial punishment, then the most effective financial punishments are those that are clearly proportional to the benefits that people get from engaging in that criminal activity. If punishments are severe economically, they will have a far more likely to have a deterrent effect than if they are only light penalties for these offenses.